how do we understand when to apply the uh, regression so there are four important assumptions that underlie before we finalize that i can predict something on the given data what are the four things the first thing is there has to be a linear relation for example i have two tests test 3 and test 4 the scores of those are plotted now once the scores are plotted i draw a best fit line and i say yes there exists a linear relation that means i can apply the regression analysis on this the second important assumption that underlies it is independence of error independence of errors what does that mean now let's say i have any point here this is a point 85 so here on x axis it is 85 and on y axis it is close to 85 so i plot this 85 from the y values here okay and i take this y value here so this is close to 85 but it is on the best fit line so my residual is close to 0 okay so i plot this dot on this point so this plotting is actually between the values each of the value with respect to test 3 to test y so that is x with respect to y so when it is being plotted with respect to y i am taking that y values on the uh, uh, the fitted values here and then i am seeing how far it is from the best fit line so if this value is very far i would plot this value very far and since it's positive it would be on the upper side the values below the residual line would lie here okay so this is how i find out independence of error now understand a very simple concept let's say i have certain values which are spread across this line okay i say they are independent but i draw another curve understand this carefully here the values are like in a cylinder form it's just to help you understand the values are cylindrically all the sample values are lying within these two parallel lines now these are not related so there is independence of error but let's say if they are in a cone shape all the values the sample values are arranged in this fashion now i would say that as i am going higher on the x axis my values are increasing so there exists a correlation when there exists a correlation i cannot apply regression independence of error actually means what actually independence of error means that the the values are so distributed that their correlation exists as zero so that's the key important thing so with this diagram what we are trying to say that it is a graph between fitted value and the residuals and when we are plotting these fitted values and residuals my correlation should be approximately what my correlation should be approximately zero in this case clear now understand the next important thing the next important thing so the first point is linear relation the second point is the independence of errors the third point is normality so normality of errors how do we understand i take each of the point okay let's see how many points are closer to this there are minus 5 there are let's say 10 20 10 percent points so around 10 percent population lies Uh, closer to the residual of uh, minus five, but let's say this extreme value, which is eighty-five, again, this is around eight residuals away. Okay, eight residuals away. So this value, how much probable it is? So what would be its probability? But as you can see, it says ninety-nine percent probability. That means this probability function is not. a linear function it is a cumulative function clear and again observe this graph carefully you would see the values between 2 to 80 are very close the values between 1 to 20 and 90 to 80 are far off 100 to 80 are far off that means all the values are arranged on the linear probability curve or the normal probability curve so it says that the residuals are normally distributed and when we are plotting those we are taking the cumulative prob uh, probability the cumulative frequencies of those if we were not taking the cumulative frequency this would have been the graph so if it was the normal values taken here and plotted here i would say residual values of 0 are the, uh, the range from 
let's say plus one to minus one within the residual values is highest and most of the values are within this range okay and therefore my histogram here is biggest my extreme value of minus 10 is just one value and therefore i have plotted one here so this is a normal distribution curve that i'm trying to plot with this histogram but if i want to have this you know, this normal distribution curve on a linear curve on a linear scale then i would be taking the cumulative values clear so that is another important thing so normality of errors is the next important thing which is a basic assumption when we take a regression curve and the fourth important thing is equal variance my variance has to be equal so in this case let's say again i do the same example i plot certain values okay these are my samples so if my samples lie within the range and they are in the form of let's say a cylinder there is equal variance here and equal variance here so we say in this case regression can work well let's say i draw another case where my values are so distributed that they appear in a cone shape now in the lower values my variance is less but in the higher values my variance becomes higher so it is not a case of equal variance so in only when my sample distribution is something which is uh, where the points are closer to the uh, are such uh, are distributed in such a way that beat on the positive side or a beat above the or below the uh, best fit line they are actually following the same path they are not distributed in a de deviant manner as in the case of the cylindrical or conical projection we can say so here we are i'm trying to draw the samples in such a way that more samples are distributed on the upper edge so this gives me a picture of cone but here the variance in the upper area would be higher as compared to lower area so equal variance cannot apply but here i can apply equal variance so only where i can apply equal variance i can have regression as one of the options so four cases where i need to check which i need to check before i can commit whether regression can be applied or not what are those the first is linear relationship between x and y the second is independence of errors and noting that the correlation between the fitted values and the residuals comes out to be zero the third important thing is there has to be normality of errors that means the residuals should be normally distributed in a histogram and if that i'm trying to plot on a linear curve on a normal probability plot it would give me a linear increasing trend but the percentage that i'm trying to take into account here would be cumulative and the last point is there has to be equal variance